Um, what's going on? There's so much going on this episode, I have no idea what's going on now. I want you to die. Oh. Ew. Oh, I did not even see that. Oh, oh, I can't look away. Oh, oh no, it's the dragon. Can't believe yet, the commander still has control of. Oh shit. Oh fuck. But he, Malifaux is still there, in, uh, but he's in him, but his body's human, so, but he's strong, so, he must be able to survive. What? How? Hope, kill this fucker. Kill the necromancer once and for all. The entire school is scouring this campus. We checked all the other classrooms, the football field. There's no sign of them or any monsters. What? They're just gone. Huh? Watch you to sleep. Did they put him in a prison world? That's what the white flash was. They're in a prison world. So Landon can't die. He's gonna come back. Oh, Ooh, please say that's right. They use prison worlds a lot this season. I'm about to have my powerful tribe with you, huh? <laughs> oh, she pissed. You'll be dead before it even gets here. Oh, you breathe. you're dead. Dude, shut up. No, you're dead. And she just did, bitch. Maybe not. But I can stick that head of yours in some very unpleasant places. <laughs> yes, please do. Can I play too? <gasps> yes! I knew. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I, it's prison, right? right? By the way. I don't need a weapon. The tribe's right. I should never have trusted that blast of glitch. Alyssa. Alyssa Chang. Seriously? Yeah. She's done it once before. Literally no one trusts Alyssa Chang. No one. Well, that girl never met a linking spell she didn't like. I don't know why anyone would ever trust Alyssa. Like, it we always ends up bad for them. How do we get out of here? I mean, do you even have to ask a question at this point? <sighs> yeah, this cuteness, cutie weirdness is a little Damn. adorable to me, honestly. Well, he kicked that really far. I still think he has Malibu in him, doesn't he? He's the ascendant I've ever seen, but... They are making ascendants and prison worlds left and right in this show. Every other episode, I swear. Not to mention the supernova still going on. Thank you. I guess that's... What are with all these loopholes? The supernova somehow still managed to be there? I thought it was gone. Some Malavo and Ekmanta are stuck in this prison world together. You're dead, dude. You're dead. Okay, so she made it out of that landed. How does she out and perfectly clean though? I was like dirty and gross. Oh, Malvo Pit is gone. I wonder why the pit is suddenly empty. I mean, maybe it's because we came through the world together. Maybe it's because I let Malibor use me as a vessel. Whatever it was, something. Is no one else gonna remember them now? Well, well it's because Malvo the pit's gone. Well, Everyone will remember. First, after we came to the mansion ahead of the grill. Yeah, not exactly the big anniversary date I had planned, but what are we gonna do? Yeah, why are they so clean? So I was disgusting when he came out. I didn't see a single soul. And. Yeah, you know, clean know and fine, like nothing evacuated happened. Evacuated or we're somewhere else. Pounds people down at the evacuation center. Oh, I'm guessing she's last. Yeah, but uh, I want you to compel her to remember everything. 
Yay. The way you know, in on everything. I, I love it. Finally. And yeah, maybe uh, romantically speaking. Because I've lived that same story with Lizzie. And the truth is, I've been treating you the same way that she treats me. Oh, damn, but they're about to get so together I'm right as like Lizzie is signed to like it. MG. Damn it. I really want. I'd rather I'm prefer MG and Lizzie. I don't like okay. Alyssa. So. Yeah, I saw it coming. Damn. And is, is, is Lizzie going to see? Yep. Fuck. Just as Lizzie was starting to realize she does actually have feelings for MG, MG goes to Alyssa. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Lizzie never gets what she wants, does she? Thanks for helping him, Joe. For helping me. We do for each other, right? I'm so proud of the but two of them. They've grown I so much. I am not ready to do magic, so I put it away again. Hold this for me. At least I get it. She needs time, and at least Josie knows that she needs Whatever it. She's not going to try to best. rush it or push it. I've been thinking about Hansford and Mystic Falls. Oh, I, which life I had a feeling this might come up. Or however long it takes. To be human, to be normal if for a little while. From the beginning of the episode when she was with Ethan, I had a feeling this might come up. Okay. How am I supposed to be with you? <laughs> oh shit. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> what? What? Ooh, what the Amanda? fuck? She's so in Malibu this whole time, isn't she? Oh, he's in Malibu. What the hell? She did not seem as freaked out as I feel like she should be. Well, I don't know what's happened there. Yeah, um... Okay, um... I don't even know what note to put down for that. Landon? Question mark. That's basically all I can say about that. But overall, ugh, Sadly, I gotta say, this episode was a meh. It reminded me a lot of the first episode this season. It felt very rushed and kind of like they were making loopholes that, like, all these little loopholes and kind of retconning everything. It just felt like they were trying to just push past everything and just finish this storyline to move on to, like, the stuff they were planning for season three. They're trying to move past the end of season two, which I do get, but this one just did not feel great. It just didn't. I'll get to reasons why as I go through my notes. I don't have that many notes because there wasn't that much that really, like, ooh, I was like, ooh, I have to take notes. It was just, I was so confused. I was watching everything. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Left, right? There's 50 different things going on. It was nuts. Way too much happened in one episode. Definitely could have been a two-parter. For sure. All right, um, first, I guess, let's talk about Hope and Landon. They're back together. It's cute and all. And I like that Landon does kind of find a way to be helpful by going to the school when supernatural creatures can't. That's kind of cool. I do I do the, like that they gave him something to do. Okay, and then we started it off with uh, Josie and Ethan as well. And as I said, I thought that was a reason why that I saw the two again, that Josie might want to go to school there. Without her magic, she's just human, kind of like Landon. And that they could... Uh, Josie could go to school and be a normal kid for a while, and I feel like it's sweet. It's kind of what she needs. She needs a break from that side, from what happened. And I get it. Lizzie's gonna have trouble with it, I'm guessing, but I get it. Okay, and then we have the necromancer who has brought up all the zombie creatures. I don't know why they're like zombie ones and they look weird. Because we just saw the, um, the cat one, the one that can see the future a little while ago, and he looked perfectly fine. Then, now he's a zombie. I don't get wh why they were zombies. It was weird. I don't know. Okay, um... And then, I was hoping, I wrote down... It was weird that Alyssa's whole goal in all of this was just to make M... D basically, destroy Salvatore School and everyone she hated, and then make MG love her. That found really weird. Like, yeah, we saw Alyssa, that she liked MG and all, but they didn't have that close of a bond, it seemed like, that much. Like, it kind of just rushed. 
it seemed to happen fast and out of nowhere. I don't know, it felt off. It felt like a really weird excuse to be doing this awful shit. Now, honestly, I don't get how anyone could trust Alyssa right now. No way at all. I would not. Okay, then we have all the monsters come back, start fighting and all. Um, Josie was really scared because she didn't want to take, get on magic back because she's scared about the dark magic or anything, and I get that. That is a hard. But Lizzie asked her, and I love that she actually did it, but I love that in the end she ended up putting her magic back away and giving it to Lizzie to hold on to. I felt that was really sweet. Josie knows her limitations. She knows who she is. She knows what she can and can't do, and she accepts it and uses, does the right thing. She's very mature for her age. Really mature. All right, and then we have this now love triangle thing with Lizzie, MG, and Alyssa. This is a fucking mess. First of all, MG really choosing Mel Alyssa. Well, I guess he, Alyssa, MG doesn't know that Lizzie likes him. If Lizzie got to him two minutes earlier and said she does like him, he wouldn't have chosen Alyssa over Lizzie. No way in hell. He's wanted Lizzie for so long. No way. But now it's problematic because he, she, if he and Lizzie, like, kind of reveal their feelings and all and get together, that's going to piss off Alyssa. You know pissed off Alyssa. She does stupid, awful shit. And I can't deal with another angry Alyssa. She could burn down the school. I don't like her. I just really don't like her. What do you guys think? Do you guys, do you think she's really, like, redeemed herself? I thought she was redeeming herself for a minute last season, and then she turned back again, and it just keeps happening. But it's just, no. She's betrayed them too many times. I don't know how any of them trust her. Let me know what you guys think. Alright. And then we have Malivore and Landon kind of meeting. It was really weird. It it's it wasn't a cool meeting just because Malivore just this clay creature that doesn't speak and didn't have any emotions or feeling or anger. Like it felt like Landon was just making jokes the whole time and Malivore was just standing there groaning like grunting. It was a weird scene. And then they come up with this weird loophole, which honestly I didn't think that was that great. That Malivore goes inside Landon to get the loophole to not kill him, to not kill Landon, and then to go after the Necromancer. I feel like there's other better loopholes. He said, end him whichever way you like. What if ending him is just, your idea of ending him is just pushing him against the wall, then go end him, and then you're out of it. You don't have to do it. That's simple. He left it very vague, which was very stupid of the Necromancer. Honestly, he, Necromancer is not that great of a villain. He's so stupid. I'm so happy he's gone, at least for now. I don't want to see him for a while. I'm sick of him. Two seasons of him was way too much. He's like a good half-season arc storyline. Like, maybe for like five or ten episodes, he would have been fun. It's been two seasons. Done. Sick of him. I'm so happy to move on, hopefully. Hopefully. And then I, I wrote down, is La we thought Landon was dead, and then obviously I was like, no way, he's dead. But then I was thinking, maybe Malivore's still in him. Could Malivore still be in Landon, or something like that? I don't know. And I thought maybe this whole time afterwards, like, ooh, they're going to reveal that like Landon, Malivore's like, in Landon and took control of his body still, this whole time. Because he did kick that head. He kicked the Necromancer's head ridiculously far for Landon. No offense, Landon, but... You couldn't do, like, push-ups in, like, season one when... <laughs> so, now you're kicking this head, like, what looked like Miles. It was weird. Okay. But then, because they were, um, they ended up putting in the Malivore and Necromancer in a prison world, which was done by um, Josie, Alyssa, and Lizzie. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed. I loved what they did with Raph in the prison world. That was great. But I think... And I, I like what they did with Kai in the prison world, too, and how they brought that back last season. But I don't like how they're just using it all the time now, like, as a way to just wrap things up. Because of somehow the supernova that was there when Raph was gone, still there, I thought they there was out, there was no time, and, like, Landon couldn't go visit Raph. He had to go, because it was ending. The supernova was over. They said goodbyes. But the supernova was still there, so... This whole time, like, anyone could just go and say hi to Raph in the prison world as much as they wanted. 
feels weird. The supernova just happened to be there. God knows how many days it's been. It's very weird. I don't like how they're using it. And the weird ascendant that they could just create. I feel like ascendant all this time had to be like, I don't know what it what they've been, but they've looked more like things built by people. This was like pine cones and some rocks. This was, it was weird. I didn't like it. And just the idea of using prison worlds over and over and keep creating them. I get the Gemini twins and it's like the whole Gemini thing. They create prison worlds. But it takes a lot of power. It's supposed to be, like, really hard to make. And the fact that, like, Bonnie made one on her own was crazy. And it's usually done, like, a whole coven has to do it. Like, the whole Gemini coven. But just the twins can do it themselves. And then now, with Alyssa's help, they can do it. And they did, like... Because they, when they uh, created the one to put the hourglass in last season, they had to use the whole, a whole witch coven in the school. Tons of people. But now just the three of them can do it. Next time, it's just going to be one of them. It's just going to keep going less and less people to make a prison world, it gets easier and easier, and I don't like it. They're making, like, light of it. Because the prison world used to be really cool. And now they're using it as, like, oh, how many prison worlds are there? Let's just have fun. We have an enemy, we put them in a prison world. Someone's friend's dying, we put them in a prison world. I'm bored and I want to go day off, let's go to a prison world, you guys. No. No. Show you how to stop using prison worlds. They're a special thing. Really cool. And really apparently special, but not that special anymore. Sorry. Okay. And then we get to the point where, um, Alaric is finally letting the sheriff remember everything, which I think is great. I felt so bad for her being used and mind-wiped over and over. I think she deserves to know the truth, and I hope she still stays with Alaric, and they can be, like, good working partners to help out everyone in town and school, and also be in a military ship. I think Alaric deserves that. But I have a feeling it's not going to be that simple. And then at the end, we have that weird thing with, um, well, for, of course, Josie and, uh, not Josie, um, names, names, Hope and Landon. They had sex. It was a really weird way they did it. It was felt so cheesy, honestly. It felt so weird, and then suddenly Landon just turns into a bile of black goo. What the fuck? Maybe when he was in Malivore, did he... But it, it either has to do when, with either when Malivor was in Landon, or it has to do with when he Malivor in Landon was killed by the dragon, or third option when Hope and Landon jumped into the Malivor pit, something happened there. So the three different Magus has had something to do with one of those three. I don't know what honestly, no idea. It made no sense. And I don't know if this is the full-on sign of, like, this is where the third season storyline begins now, end of season two storyline, and this was the plan since that this was how season two was supposed to end, or if we still have another episode or something. I don't really know. It felt very odd, this episode. Very rushed. I'm not the biggest fan, but overall, mm, last two episodes were much better, I think. I think they definitely could have done better this episode. I feel like... I think a lot of it's really the Russian, the rushing of it, and then the use of the prison worlds. It's it's starting to wear on me, really, guys. There's got to be better ideas. You just keep using prison worlds. It's annoying, but I'm happy if this means the Necromancer and Malvo are done. Well, obviously, can't, Malvo can't be completely done because Landon. Sadly, I wish we could just be done with Malvo and Necromancer because they've both been around since season one. They've been going around for a while. They've been annoying villains. They haven't done really anything good. Like, very boring villains. Like, really, what's more interesting is the were, were the weekly monsters and then Doc Josie. Everything else about the two of them, about Necromancer and Malibu, which is boring. Honestly. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know your theories, okay? All right. Thank you guys for watching so much. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, press the subscribe button down below, and press that notification bell if you want to know right away when new videos are uploaded. And other than that, I really hope you enjoyed. Bye.